Dear students, how are you? I hope you're fine. Today we are going to talk about a new lesson. It's the Pythagorean theorem. So let's start. Uh, the Pythagorean theorem describes what? Describes the relationship between the legs of a right triangle. So I have here a right triangle as you see. Okay. And I have here in the right triangle, I have something called hypotenuse. So the side that is opposite to the right angle is called what? It's the hypotenuse, as you see. And we have here two other what? Two legs. Two legs. Okay? Okay, so let's start. Uh, we have here in the Pythagorean theorem, in the right triangle, as you see here, the square of the length of the hypotenuse. What do you say? I have a rule. C squared, see here it's the segment of the hypotenuse so c squared equal a squared plus b squared a squared plus b squared so this here this rule it's only for what or this this signal it's only on the right triangle this here happens only on the right triangle okay guys so squared let's see what we are talking about so the pythagorean theorem to find the length of any side of the right uh, triangle uh, as long as you know the length of other two sides, you can also use what the Pythagorean theorem. So let's have example to see what we are talking about. Okay, just a moment. Okay, uh, I have here, if a right triangle has legs with 9 cm and 12 cm, what is the length of the hypotenuse? So the hypotenuse here is equals to what? I will draw it for you. I have here, this is the hypotenuse, which is C. This is the other two legs. So you got here what? It's 9 and here we got 12. So I will say C squared equal the rule equal A power 2 or squared plus B squared. So he asks me about C squared. So this is what? This is the required. What about A squared? It's 9 squared plus 12 squared. Let's here clear and write it in a better way. So we have here C squared. This is the required, which is the hypotenuse. Equal A squared plus B squared. What's A squared? It's 9 squared plus 12 squared. So it's here, okay. 9 squared, 9 times 9. This means what? 81, 12 times 20. 12 times 12. So we will add here uh, both, uh, uh, okay, 81 and Okay, so I will add here, I did here the 12 times 12, if I don't here remember that, so you can multiply 12 times 12. So we got here 144 plus what, plus 81, which is 9 times 1, gives you 225. This is C squared. Okay, guys, so uh, let it be like this. You can have here 225 under the square root. That's why we uh, just we have just uh, taken the square root. C squared equal 225. Take the square root of both. C alone will be what? Will be equal 15. Okay, guys, the length of the hypotenuse is here 15 centimeter. Okay, is it easy? What about is uh, this one? Is a triangle with side length of... 6 and 9 and 12 is a right triangle or not? Remember here the hypotenuse is the longest side. Okay, guys, I have here the hypotenuse of course in the right triangle is the longest one. He asks me here if we have a right triangle or not. So if the theorem, if the theorem um, is true, comes true, so it's a uh, if the if we here uh, done the Pythagorean theorem and it comes true so this is a right triangle if not so it's not so i have here let's see how to write the theorem c power 2 equal a squared plus b squared uh, we have this is the pythagorean theorem so c squared it's the longest one we have 12 6 9 so let here 12 be the longest one and we know that 12 to the power 2 or 12 squared and i ask myself is it equal to this question mark on the equal is it equal to 6 power 2 plus uh, 9 power 2? I will ask myself, this is 36 plus 81 equals to 144 or not? 
No, because 36 plus 81 gives me 117. Therefore, it's not what? It's not a right angle triangle. And I hope this is clear, guys. Let's, uh, let's solve together. I have here, right, an equation you could use to solve for x. Then solve round the, to the nearest decimal answers, okay, to the nearest tenth. Okay, we got here, this is the hypotenuse, which is x power 2 equal 8 power 2 plus 1 plus 13 power 2. Okay, guys. Okay, I need you to complete this uh, exercise as homework. And if you have any problem in it, please send me on. Okay, guys. But before I go, I'd like to answer this with you. The word problem, this one in the right triangle, if A and B are the measure of legs uh, A and C is the hypotenuse. Find the missing measure round the decimal to the decimal answers to the nearest tenth. Okay, guys, we are not going to give you in this quarter decimal points, uh, and uh, because I'm not going to give you the calculators, so the problem will be very easy without any decimals. Okay, guys, so I have here uh, the measurements will be what I have here. He asks me here, A and B are the measures of the legs. So here A and B the measures of the legs, okay, uh, and I have also C is the hypotenuse round, okay. So here after doing, let's write it C power 2 equal A power 2 plus B power 2, okay guys. He gives you also find each missing measure, measure. okay, um, okay guys, here she, here he asks you what? Uh, here he asks me to find for each one he gives you a uh, as one leg and b with the other leg so a squared plus b squared equals c squared for the first one 5 power 2 plus 6 power 2 equal c power 2 and then find c power 2 okay i hope you understood if you have any question please guys uh, send me on the new scl thank you bye bye